In this video, you're gonna learn how to install an LLM chatbot locally to your computer's hard drive. If you're wondering why you would want to do this, you can use the markers to skip ahead to the end of the video and I'll explain the reasons why this is beneficial. But let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. The first important thing to know is that this tutorial is for a Mac OS. If you're on Linux or Windows, the process will be very similar, but there's gonna be a few differences. So Olama is what I have pulled up on the screen. It's O-L-L-A-M-A.com. And it's a super simple website right here. Front and center is a download button. And to go ahead and get started, we click on download. You choose your OS. And again, the instructions will be slightly different depending on if you're on Linux or Windows. I am on Mac. I'll click download for Mac OS. And you can save it to your downloads or wherever you want it on your computer. It's a pretty small file, so it only takes a moment to download. Once that is done, go ahead and open up the zip file. And there it is. Once I've unzipped that file, I go ahead and click on Olama. And since it's my first time opening it, I get this pop-up. It's an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Go ahead and open it. Olama is now installed and it's been moved to my applications folder. So I'll go ahead and open up Olama by double clicking on it. When you click on it, when you open it, it's not going to open in a window. It's going to open right here, again on a Mac, up here on the top menu bar. And the only thing you can do is click quit Olama. But the next thing we're gonna do is open terminal. And the way I like to open terminal is with the command button and space button on my Mac and it opens a little spotlight surge and just type in terminal, hit enter to open it up. Before we do anything with terminal though, let's hop back over to our browser. So back to olama.com. Up here in the top right is models and you can search for models. So if you have a specific model you wanna use, you can find it through the search or you can go to models. And these are all open source models. So they're free, they're available publicly. ChatGPT is not open source, so you won't find that on here, but you will find Llama 2, which is Facebook's product, Mistral, which is a popular one, and dozens, if not hundreds of others. It tells you how many times they've been used. This one has 42,000 polls, 435,000 polls for Llama 2. Llama 2 is typically the one I use open source wise, but Mistral is also very popular. And so basically you open it up, you get this page right here, and then it tells you about it, how many parameters it's trained on, information like that. But the important thing is right here is the code that we're gonna put into Terminal to install this, to download this model and start using it in our computer. So you can click on that to copy it. And we're gonna pop back over to Terminal, paste that in, hit enter. And it's gonna take a moment to download. So I will be back as soon as that's done. Excellent, that took about three or four minutes to install. It's a 4.1 gigabyte file. And as soon as it's done, you get the success message and you are inside of your chatbot. You are able to now start talking to it. Let me ask it, who are you? I don't know, let's see what it says. So there you go, you are now in action. You can start talking to your chatbot and you don't need an account. You don't need an internet connection. This is on your computer. You can run it at any time. I will say it is compute intensive, so it will slow down your computer if you have an underpowered machine. It'll take a while to process, especially something like a long prompt where you ask it for a lot of information. But to close out, you simply close terminal, terminate, and then when you wanna run it again, simply open terminal again. And this time you'll write Olama run, and then whichever model you want to run. So th that one was Mistral. I'll hit, I'll type in Mistral and I'm back inside my chatbot and I'll just ask it something. Tell me who the first president of the U.S. was. First president of the United States was George Washington. He served two terms in office from April 30th, 1789. Cool. Don't care. You're now up and running with your large language model on your local computer. And I also leave written instructions so you can follow them step by step as well as a link to a blog where I posted this. But I mentioned I would talk about the benefits of why would you do this as opposed to setting up an account and using ChatGPT or Llama or one of those online. The first one is you don't need an internet connection because it's on your computer's hard drive. So I don't know where that would be useful, but maybe you're going traveling, maybe you're on an airplane, whatever it is, you don't have internet, but you want to use that chatbot, then you have that capability. And so given point number one, if you have a slow internet connection, but you have a fast computer, this could be a lot faster for you. 
if the opposite, if you have a slow computer, but fast internet, then you'll probably want to stick with the browser based ones. But also given point number one, it's more private to do this. If you're not sending all your data, your questions, maybe you're asking pretty personal things, then that's not going to open AI. That's not going to Facebook. That's not going to whoever owns that, that model. It's just on your local computer, your data is not going anywhere. And so because of that, you have a lot more control over your data, which is really important. And then next is there's no limits on the number of prompts. It costs open AI money every time that you run a prompt and they cut you off at a certain point. Some of those other models that aren't open source, they cut you off. So that won't happen when you're on your own computer. And then lastly, it's more flexible and more customizable. It remembers context a little better than the browser-based ones tend to. And you can train your model really specifically when it's on your own machine. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Bye-bye.